Hi, my name is Chuck Long. I'm the CEO and Executive Director of the Iowa Sports Foundation. We promote sports and recreation, health and wellness statewide. We have a nonprofit organization. We touch about 200,000 lives in the state of Iowa uh, per year. We're very proud of that, many of which are kids, and in particular, middle and high school age uh, kids. And that is going to be the top of, topic of our discussion today. We have created a partnership with the University of Iowa Healthcare to support community and be a resource. Today, we'll be discussing challenges for middle and high school uh, athletes during their time away from school and sports to stay active and healthy, general conditioning recommendations that, that you have no equipment coach or teammates, ways middle and high school students can avoid injuries to being physically active while at home, and other ways athletes can stay fit and healthy beyond exercise. With that, I want to introduce Matt Doyle, and he'll give a self-introduction, and we'll get started. Thanks. Hi, I'm Matt Doyle. I'm an athletic trainer uh, at the University of Iowa. I work in the Department of Orthopedics and for UI Healthcare. Uh, I've worked with collegiate athletes and high school athletes and providing athletic training support for various teams, but I'm also a parent. So I have a high school and a junior high uh, students that are here around the house with me these days. And so hopefully we'll talk a little bit about some different creative ways we've um, found for them to stay active and, and healthy and be ready to return to school when things get back to going to normal again for being on. Question number one for you. Can you share with us some of the challenges middle and high school athletes face during their time away from school and extracurricular activities to stay healthy and active? Yeah, first of all, you know, the challenges we're facing right now is everyone's socially disconnected and there's no routine. There's no practice. There's no alarm to set to get up to go to school. So everyone's kind of on a different schedule and that, that creates a lot of probably laziness and lethargy and maybe worry and fear and stress about, hey, I'm getting out of shape. I'm not seeing my friends. You know, I'm not in my normal routine. So that's really the challenge, um, you know, dealing with this pandemic is everyone's kind of isolated and we don't, we can't get in to see our coaches. People aren't able to communicate and, and get into their facilities and get, it, get their hands on the equipment that they're used to doing. It's a, a big part of their life. What are some of the uh, conditioning recommendations you may have with no equipment coach or teammates? Yeah, there's a there's a lot. If you can be creative and, and use your body weight and some things around your house and outdoors, there's a lot of things you can do to kind of keep moving, to keep your different energy systems, uh, you know, involved and, and also kind of to put the normal stresses through your body that it's used to having. Um, so I, I, I think people really ought to kind of sequence a workout at home just like they do at school if they think about what their coaches have usually set up for them it can be a, a, a structured warm-up with some flexibility exercises it can be some strength exercises and then really some agility and running type of movements that are body weight or just using using your body uh, and then also maybe just some you know agility uh, plyometric type things that can be done just with your own body weight and so you're really trying to just you know maintain some fitness that you've developed or keep that, you know, topped off as you get ready for your, your season when it does return or when you get back to school. And then also, uh, you know, use what you can. Here's a good example of just using a tree in the backyard. You don't have any equipment, but you can certainly get out there and do some push-ups and pull-ups and body weight squats and things like that as a, as a way to kind of get yourself um, moving, kind of a dynamic warm-up. We also have different things that you can do some lateral bounding across. You can do forward long jump. These are plyometric and explosive in nature. And so really, again, it's just kind of being creative. Um, you know, obviously the, the, here's a jumping rope for an example, just going back to the days on the playground and uh, it's a pretty tough thing to, uh, for an athlete to jump rope for 20 or 30 minutes, but it really going to hit that aerobic component. You can, uh, with safe social distancing, have a, have a race, do some hill sprints, really work on that power and acceleration up a hill, you know, outdoors when the weather's good. That's another good example of some different fun things you can do. What injuries while they're physically uh, active while at home? Well, I think if, if they're used to 
doing those warm up and stretching and flexibility things, they still need to incorporate that. They're probably going to be doing some things they may not be used to. So they're new. So they need to really gradually work into those things and progress gradually. So they don't, you know, develop any new kind of an injury. But really, I think if they, you know, do a broad uh, arrangement of strength exercises, some running, some endurance, some flexibility, they can really, um, you know, spread out the, the stresses that occur on the body. But then also think of this as a way to prepare for your upcoming season. If you're a, a baseball or a softball thrower, overhead thrower, they can really work on the shoulder strength, develop some of that rotator cuff uh, stability. So a lot of the people, kids who are involved with sports might have some knowledge of some basic shoulder exercises that they could do uh, or a, a soccer player or a runner, you know, they're going to practice cutting and, and agility and some of the same movements. So as, as they return to practice and the coach is ready to start practice up again, they haven't been sitting on the couch, you know, for three weeks and, and raiding the pantry and not following uh, good training principles. Now you have to use your creative mind now, Matt. In addition to exercise, what can middle and high school students do to keep fit and healthy? Yeah, I think, you know, that routine that we talked about is huge. Athletes are used to a routine. So it's a, it's a real challenge for junior high and high school kids to set an alarm and get up when they don't have something that they have to do. So trying to find that routine, trying to schedule something, maybe even get out a piece of a notebook paper and write down your goals for the day. What do you want to get out of today? Um, same goes with nutrition. It's very easy to pull into the pantry and grab whatever you can find. But if you can you know, focus on some fruit and vegetables and good nutrition, that's going to give you a, a better feeling of self-worth. I think people you know, experience stress when they don't eat well. They're going to feel better, but also keep your immune system strong. So, And then regular sleep, You know, getting enough adequate. Probably people are getting a lot of sleep maybe focus on getting, you know, just a set good bedtime and wake up schedule going. So it's a little more routine. I know here at our house, things have tended to drift a little bit later to bed, a little bit later in the morning and just keeping that reasonable. Uh, those, those are some good points. I think that'll keep people on schedule. Routine has really helped me, man. It gets me through the day. So that's great advice. Very sound advice. Thank you very much for the, the tips today. And let's summarize our key messages today. Uh, it's been a it's been a wonderful uh, uh, broadcast, but some key takeaways as important as ever to stay active at this time as options are limited. Keep your older athletes in shape for their upcoming sport and season, summer or fall. Keep them in shape. Don't expect to be game ready, but with some creativity and planning, athletes can improve their health and readiness for a safe return to sport participation. Develop a regular sleep, nutrition, and workout routine. Routine's the operative word. Create a weekly plan that trains energy systems, aerobic and anaerobic, utilizing similar movements to your current upcoming sport and season. You can find exercise videos and nutrition recommendations at uihc.org slash sports medicine. For fitness and wellness advice and challenges, visit livehealthyiowa.org. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you to Matt for the great advice. And please join us for future videos. Thanks for watching.